Hi, this is Karen Jansen from Cardio Golf. And I'm Christina Ritchie and I'm taller. <laughs> We're going to help you shape your swing so you can get more power. All right, Karen, all kidding aside, you are taller than me. Okay. <laughs> A lot of players actually rise up in their golf swing trying to get tall when they should be staying down to leverage the ground. Do you have anything that they can work on using the slope at home to help feel this? Absolutely. So one of the biggest things I see with higher handicappers is they don't know how to play that downhill lie with the ball below their feet. So this is going to help you with two things. Learn how to hit that shot. Also help you stay in your posture. Awesome. Show us how. So this is my cardio golf slope. It's a regular fitness step, but I use it with a golf twist. So it's to help us rehearse those uphill and the downhill lies, you know, the ones that you get on the golf course, but there's nowhere ever to practice them. So today I want to show you something to help you stay in your posture. So I have two slopes going right now. And the tendency with a lot of people, as Christina says, is they swing back and maybe their shoulders are too flat or they raise up in an attempt to get some power. So once you raise up, then you have to do a bunch of stuff to get back to the ball. So it's too complicated, too much timing is involved. Ideally, as you swing back, you want to maintain your posture. And that means keeping an angle between your torso and your hips. And that m angle might even decrease. It might even get more severe. You don't ever want it to get bigger like this. So what you do is you put your heels on the slope like this, and this represents a side hill lie with the ball below your feet. The worst thing you can do with the side hill lie ball below your feet is stand like this. You'll never get down to the ball. So you have to hinge from your hips, take out some knee flex and let your arms hang down. And that's going to help you get down to the ball. If you're like this, you'll never hit that, this shot. So once you're in this posture right here, we can just pretend we're swinging and you want to swing back and you want to feel like your chest stays over the ball. So if you swing back and your chest does this, you're early extending, you're raising up. You need to feel down like this. Now to do the downswing, you don't want to stand up again like this. You have to stay in your angle and keep your chest over the ball as your body rotates. So through impact, you're looking like this, staying down, trying to get to the ball, not raising up. So just by practicing, rehearsing this over and over is going to get you a good feeling of how you stay in your posture on the backswing and stay down with it through the follow through. So if you're hitting a side hill shot with the ball below your feet, the ball is always going to tend to go out to the right. And a lot of the times that's because people are just swinging through like this. So the more you stay down, the easier it is to rotate that club face for the ball to go down your target line. So do that a few times, 10, 15 repetitions, and that'll really give you that feeling in the swing to shape your swing and get more power. All right, so let's take it from home to the range. All you're gonna need is a shaft or an extra club and you're gonna use it on your feet line from toe to heel is version one. All right, so you're gonna place it on the ground, get your trail toe on the shaft to your heel line. Now trace your bottom along that shaft. It's gonna be your guide and then make a swing. Now what does that do for you? Well, let me show you. So if I drew a line from my ear to my pelvis, watch my ear as it falls below that line. All right, I'm staying deep in my posture, tracing my butt along that shaft. All right, that's paramount for solid shots. All right, so having it there as a guide, you can really see it as you make your swing and trace your bottom along that shaft. And that creates super solid shots. You're gonna really like this. All right, so here's a setup, place it from toe to heel. That's one option. The other option is to place it on your heel line. All right, so then you'll trace your butt on the heel line. All right, so whatever works for you, but this is a really good visual to help train staying in your posture, creating deep hip flexion. That's really important. So you wanna keep your butt on the imaginary wall. For those that watch my videos, check out the butt move videos. But this is what it is. See how my butt's peeking through the wall and it stays there through impact and then it'll come off the wall at the end. 
All right, so train this a ton. This is really important.